Welcome to the channel no one watches. I'm the Blank Man, and welcome back to Back to the Future the Game. Last time we gave this old lady a shoe after we found we got Doc's notebook. Okay, hold on. Hill Valley is selling off Doc's estate. Having an estate estate sale for Doc's stuff because he's been gone for so long. So we were there, we found Doc's notebook, which has a bunch of you know techno babble in it. Then the DeLorean came from some point in time with Einstein inside with a shoe. This lady's shoe. Um, if I can take a look at the shoes. Here are the shoes. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? Exactly. So you know we know it's in the past. Let's let's talk to this lady. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk uh, to her. Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! Oh my gosh. Okay. This is really good. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes? What's all the newspapers? newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Why does she need all the newspapers? you need all these newspapers? Question. Isn't that the library's job? Libraries? <laughs> Have you seen the smut they keep in their magazine racks? Nice binoculars, hold on. Don't let me keep you from your business. Let's take a look at everything else real quick. You there! Don't even think about tossing that clean the ground! This lady, her name should have been Karen. She's a Karen. Edna is a Karen. Or should we be calling it an Edna? Man, she keeps it hot in here. You just turned off someone else's heater That's without asking. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. Too late, brother. Okay, well. I don't know how old she is, but she's pretty old. She's probably. What? In her 50s? At least her 50s. She's probably like 70, right? Maybe 80? So. Jeez. They all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that? Uh, nothing. Was that, was that a picture Jeez. of the same oh, picture? Like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? Uh, nothing. Okay, what is that? Stop oh, looking at me. Shoes, newspapers. Let's look at the newspapers. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Hmm. So I turned the radiator off, and so. Don't touch those. That's My vintage. newspapers are in oh. pristine she, condition she really and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Wow. Okay. Understandable. I actually kind of get that to a degree. We didn't know who Marty McFly was. Candy. That old person candy, isn't it? It's that old person candy. Candy looks older than I am. Oh, I don't know where they get it from. Where do old people get their candy? Tell me. Is that a picture of a dog on the screen? Or on, on the... Anyway, all right. Nope, Edna. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. When did you lose your shoe? Why do you all... Uh, boom, boom, nice binoculars. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Wow, that it, that kind of felt that... like... She was like... She got that digital. Uh, it's so weird. I don't know why. Tiff Tannen. Tiff Tannen. Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly. No one likes a busybody, you know. But, oh, fine. Let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Oh, yes. 
The day that speakeasy burned mm, down. Okay. <laughs> a speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity. But it does know? hold a trademark and a patent. Yeah. Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Hmm. An illegal speakeasy. Cool. Those new newspapers help me. Um, let's keep wow, talking. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition, Prohibition was a okay, time so when what, the gangsters 40s? ruled the town. The 30s? Honest the 30s, ain't it? It's like the 30s, ain't it? So where was it? That speakeasy that Prohibition burned down. Prohibition was what, the 20s, 30s? That was ages well, before, ago. Was it before World War II? You're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history, my Aunt Fanny. Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two right things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. Mmm. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. <laughs> I was quite a reporter back well, in the day. Well, we got ourselves a modern, or modern yeah, day, 1980s. Do you know what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. Okay. I told you not to touch those. Mm, okay, we're going to turn the radiator back on. Just going to check the tea. There's the whistle. Surely the water's boiling by now. going to check the tea. We're going to check the newspapers. Go, 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 go. Don't Juveniles tell me. Juveniles collide with manure truck. Nice. <laughs> nice picture. Okay. What? Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. To... All right, Einstein brought me this shoe, and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Yeah, brother. Keep looking. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Are there other newspapers? Hold on. Whoa, the controls are a little weird. Or... The polite guest stays out of the host's kitchen, Mr. McFly. That's what you get with these cheap, foreign-made kettles. But trying to find an American one nowadays... Ugh. Hmm, okay, so we need to turn the kettle back, the radiator back off. There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Imagine that. Imagine this old lady walking in, sitting there for like 15 seconds, like, man, it's not boiling. What is that all about? And then being like, man. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. Oh my gosh, what a reference. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Hmm, okay. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. Oh, she's cool about it, I guess. Valley video. I'm not controlling this. 1932. 1931. Boom. 
1932. in February, 1932. Okay. So the fire must have happened before then. But and Biff when? must have just totally bought a bunch of I porn, right? Date. Or rented Don't a bunch look of porn. At me. I'm far too old for you. Oh, great Scott. Okay, back to this. Man, this is crazy how long we've been in here. It's been like 11 minutes. The whistle. Surely the water's they should have recorded like now. three more dialogue lines. I, I, must have, I should have figured this out like way earlier. I'm bad at these kind of games, guys. Uh, this is my first g Telltale Let's game see. or game like this. Brown Interactive story. On sight of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure uh -oh. gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Oh, that was a bad line delivery. My newspapers! Run, dude! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let me... No! You've gotten my history out of order! Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Well, no, it's out, definitely like 64, at least 64 newspapers. Help! 64 dates, oh, quick wait. looks. I'm being attacked wow. by hooligans! Jesus Christ, this lady! <laughs> oh no! Okay, finally progressing the story. So we're going to head back to the DeLorean, I imagine. Oh, we got ready to go. We're dressed up. Marty, where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing Grapes of Wrath. Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. I'll be back in a split second. In case I'm not, take care of Einstein. No, okay. You ready to go, Einstein? Oh, we're bringing Einstein with us. Let's go. That's a good idea. Probably sniff Doc out. All right. Time circuits on. Flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931... The day before, Marty! Up the day before, and, and get him out. The day what before! What are you doing, Doc? The day before! This guy, uh, one day of time? Don't you know how long? It didn't take you like three days in Back to the Future 1. A couple days in Back to the Future 3, and at least a night in Back to the Future 2. Let's rock it. Oh, boys! Einstein's like, man. There's nothing new to me. Here we go. The Valley Police Department. Uh oh. Oh, oh. How did he get. That's like. Oh, it was a Tommy gun. Oh! Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. If I'm the cop, I'm stopping right there. I'm like, go. Just go. Let him go. Let him go. I don't even care. Are you serious, bro? He's shooting at me! I just appeared! Dude, I would be like, dude, this is crazy. Oh, what what in the world was that? The car of the future. Yeah, let's just park it. Like we normally do behind the freaking big ol' advertisement. No one's ever gonna see the car. Now we begin our walk, Einstein. Two miles! That's... I mean, it's not too far, but man, that's uncomfortable. 
I was Marty, I'd be like, man, there's not like another sign a little closer. All right. Heading into town now. Heading into town. Let's do it. Oh, man, this Coca-Cola I'm drinking makes me so burpy. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Man, looks like everyone's staying inside. Must be on lockdown. COVID must have hit hard. Oh, there we go. Still social distancing, though, you know? Wow. Well, we're in the 30s. I'm not in control. I have been a bad start. Getting just hit by a car. Oh, pretty lady. Young man, excuse me, young man. Who, uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Oof. Uh... Um... You can mark me down as a supporter. The young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Boyish Do you have virile. a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets? No doubt I feel like she's into him, and I don't know why. With another den of booze, sin, and debauchery. Ask him where I can get the address. Ah, I see! Because you want to blast it to smithereens just like Carl Sagan did. With public-spirited citizens like you around, the lawless element will be on the run in no time. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Tony Crockett, Harry Callahan, Michael Cor Corleone. Uh, I'm going to go with Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your oh, candid Corleone. opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Oh, it's Edna. It's old lady Edna, but she kind of like... I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better- oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times! It's, it's the, the law. law! Look it up! Look it up. Aren't you like... Doc! Ain't you just been I talking? Find Doc! Okay. Are you... Oh, okay, are we like full on... Hmm. Okay. Not hiring. Oh, we're going inside a building. We're going inside. Look how dark you it buy is. Anything? Um, no. Then get out. You bum. Um, okay. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How would Doc ever get mixed up in that? Hmm. Good question. Okay. A law office sign. I thought it said furry sign. What does that say? Speak easy rooms. Furrier sign. Lamont's house of Ermin. I guess. Hold on. We just got. A lag spike there, my bad guy. On south of Ermin. I guess there's not much call for fur coats in the middle of the depression, especially in June. Yeah. All right. Law office sign. Gail, Zemeckis, and Fine. Attorneys at law. <laughs> no solicitors. Oh, like um, Robert Zemeckis, I think is his name. He's the director, isn't he? The director or writer of Back to the Future. Very Hello? cool Easter egg. No solicitors. Okay. Bank of uh... Bank of Italy. Mm, maybe. Okay. All right. Well, let's. What movie's playing? 
James, Clive, Doris, Evans, and, oh, Frankenstein, and the man, the man who made a monster. All right. Oh, hey, wait, hold on. What am I saying? Oh, okay. Again, the game, the controls are a little clunky. Just a little bit. Soup kitchen sign. Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. Come for the soup, stay for the salvation. Groovy, groovy, groovy. Police station sign. Hill Valley Police Station. Cripes, this place looks old, even for 1931. All right, we got the window. Doc. Marty. There Doc. we go, it's your boys. What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. About one, Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> so what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that. But it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great Scott! I just took a picture of this I'm dead man. Threw him on the number of cover, bro. The Why would they do that? Yes, they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan. A plan? Right. But what? But back in time. Let's make a stand. Let's talk to the gangster. Hmm. Well. They're not going to believe him. That's an... That's a... I mean, yeah, Marty, you should go back before he was arrested. That's a good idea. Make a stand. I don't, against who? Let's talk to the gangsters. That's a bad idea. Okay, back in time. I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place. Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've Reasonable. been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Fair. I guess I could break you out of jail. Ooh. Ooh, an escape mission. Escape well, I suppose plan. I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me. 1931 me. Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. Hey, what about the space-time continuum? How am I supposed to get you to build a rocket drill? Where can I find your younger self? Okay, first off, I am curious. What about We're the space-time continuum? You know, irreparable space -time damage continuum. to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go with my younger self into finishing the prototype. Okay, how am I supposed to get you to build a rocket drill? Okay. How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed Just to- Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Well, I got a feeling that it won't be a piece of cake, seeing how you just said that it would be. But we're okay, gonna find him. Let's say I go along with this or crazy you. idea. We're gonna find you. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should Jacqueline. I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why did you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup Man remembers kitchen. his number from 50 years ago. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. 
I guess it was cool that you could just visit the, you know, the inmates at any time. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, I guess Doc. It's just a I'll holding cell, though, isn't no it? Time. Not really. Any... I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. All right, buddy. Hmm. Okay. Man, it just this is so. We haven't really even gotten started, but we're. I'm excited. I'm excited. We're in 1931, and we gotta go into the freaking soup kitchen. We gotta make a phone call. Oh man, we gotta break Doc out. I don't know why. Like he burnt down a freaking. Like how is it okay that you burn down a speakeasy? That's not gonna have consequences, you know, for the greater, you know, temporal. Oh, I got a feeling he's gonna play a part here. Like, how does that not have consequences? That dude's shady looking. McFly. Uh oh. Biff. Kid. Grandpa. That's Mister Tan into you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Yeah, I was gonna say, if one of those subpoenas landed anymore. in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? Well, what are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah. Uh... Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make okay. myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Okay. Alright, I understand. I understand. We have... We are running out of time. Okay. Phone. Oh, make a phone call somehow. Yeah, figure it out, Marty. I've no idea how this phone works, by the way. Well, there we uh, go. Hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? Interesting. Courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Hmm. Okay. Well, there was like another I inscriptions. Ooh. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. Eli should mind his own business. A weird thing. Kitchen door. Cue ball. Guy. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Bro. Okay. So it's okay we talk to cue ball though, huh? Um. <clears throat> yep. We can mess his timeline up. That's good. Okay. Hey, um. Uh, never mind. That dude is zombified, bro. Okay. All right. Man, okay. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it right here, guys. If you... Uh, I'm not exactly sure where this story is going to go. I'm excited to continue to play it. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see more episodes of Back to the Future the Game, hit the subscribe button. You have to subscribe. Especially if you aren't already subscribed. I would recommend not hitting the subscribe button if you're already subscribed. Because if you're already subscribed, I mean... You just unsubscribe by hitting the subscribe button again. I'm I'm stumbling over my words. I speak like this all the time. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. Peace.